How'd you feel if your nine-year-old went to school and got lessons on the Black Panthers and police brutality and amnesty for illegals? Well, now you can, because these are all topics included in a fourth grade assigned novels that are uh, in the Wake County School District in North Carolina. Here to discuss and share some examples, Caleb Bonham, editor-in-chief of Campus Reform. Caleb, nice to see you this morning. Hey, good morning. Are you surprised by this? Uh, I am surprised by this. Gone are the days of fourth graders reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> uh, One, One Crazy Summer is a book that these fourth graders are required to read in North Carolina, and it is like the Debbie Downer of homework. But let me it give starts you, up. Let me give you this. I'll read a quote from you, Caleb. I'll, there's a little story time here this morning for you. Here's okay. a quote from One Crazy Summer. Quote, I was sure they were Black Panthers. They were on the news a lot lately. The Panthers on TV said they're... They were in communities to protect poor black people from the powerful, to provide things like food, clothing, and medical help, and to fight racism. Yeah, it, it's absolutely outrageous. I mean, uh, this is a story about three daughters who think that they're going to go meet their negligent mother and she's going to take them to Disneyland and they're going to meet Tinkerbell. But instead, the mother ships them off to a Black Panther camp, a uh, summer camp, uh, and instead of spending time with Mickey Mouse, they're kicking it with the likes of Huey Lewis. Um, you know, the kids in the fourth grade uh, need to be taught, you know, things that encourage creativity or drive that love for, for reading. Um, and the way to do that is, is more encouraging texts, not uh, texts that are, are discussing police brutality. and the Piece of uh, literature, and there's a scene where migrant workers are striking, and here's how it's described. Quote, the buses and cars screeched to a stop, and immigration officials and police carrying clubs, of course, always clubs, jumped out and ran after them. What will they do with them, asked Esperanza. Will they take them to Los Angeles and put them on the train to El Paso, Texas, and then to Mexico, said Josefina? But some of them are citizens, said Esperanza. It doesn't matter. They are causing problems for the government. They are talking about formers, forming a workers' union, and the government and the growers don't like that. <laughs> What's hilarious about this is well, Cesar Chavez, who organized farm workers, hated illegal immigration. Like, these are totally ahistorical. Exactly. It's, it's not historically accurate, but it's also, it, it remains consistent with the theme that these fourth graders are picking up, and that is that the police are good for one uh, of two things. They're either going to shoot you, as is the case in a one cra uh, the summer um, book earlier, or they're going to deport you, whether you're legal or not. And as we're seeing at the Leadership Institute's campus reform, uh, educators are really capitalizing on, oppor on opportunities to use students to advance political narratives. Um, in California, they are trying to teach consensual sex education courses to K through 12. So kindergartners would be, would be subjected to consensual sex ed classes. A top uh, uh, classes that continually um, um, beat into their heads the idea that police are nothing but racists, we're gonna shoot or deport you, it's, it's madness. Caleb Bonham, we appreciate you joining us.